Hello and welcome everybody to the Die Castle. So today we are going to be taking a look at um, six different uh, matchbox collectors. Me and okay, so you want to say something? Oh, okay, that's very interesting, sir. Sir, do you think you want one of those treats sitting over there? <laughs> Is that the one? Sir, is this the one right here? Is this the one that you like? Oh, now he's all excited. All right, let's give Cakey Snakey a treat here, guys. All right, come over here, sir. Come here. All right. Now, uh... Cakey Snakey got him a little treat, and we are going to uh, get right into this video. So let's let's take a look at in the background what we have here. So uh, first of all, we got the uh, Bugatti, the Devo, very cool model. We have this. Um, what is this? This is an older one. This is like the Matchbox collector from uh, quite a quite a while back, and we have the the Audi, the R8, very cool model. Now, here we have the other uh, Ford panel delivery. Very cool. We're going to be opening all these up. There's, like I said, there's six of them. 2022 Lexus LX. All right. And then we have the Mitsubishi 3000 GT. Very neat model. And then we have the, uh, the Nissan Z 2023 Z. And since I have this one in my hand, let's see. Nah, nothing on the back. Is there anything on the back of any of them? No, they're all the same. Just uh, just a lot of... Uh, uh, ah, man, my mind went blank. Just a lot of writing. Non nautical nonsense. <laughs> all right. Anyway, here. Uh, 2023 Nissan Z. Let's get him out of the pack and uh, check it out. So anyway, I have... I have no interest in the little boxes that they come in, but they are kind of cool. These boxes are actually really big. Like, I think your car would be, like, rattling around inside of there. Let me see. Let me grab this, uh, my little super treasure hunt and put it in there, man. Look at that, man. A ton of room in there. That's not going to, that's not going to keep your car secure. I don't know why Matchbox sent these, uh, big old boxes for your car, but they're kind of ridiculous. Anyway, let's, uh... Let's get the Z out of here and check it out. Cakes, are you still with us, sir? Okay. <laughs> All right, the Z. Now, now these Matchbox collectors, some of them have moving parts, some of them don't. But what I'm really liking about this one uh, that I'm noticing right off the bat is that, like, that bluish uh, kind of gun. Well, I don't want to say gunmetal. It's just kind of like a. A uh, light bluish gray, very neat. We got the uh, five-spoke wheels, uh, rubber tires on these guys. Usually, always have full tampos, and this one has opening doors. So the doors on this one actually actually open very smooth, and you can see it right there. It just sprung back on its own. So it's got good spring tension on it. Let's see if we can see on the interior of this. Very cool, detailed interior. Very neat little model, little gas cap. Love the uh, full glass looking uh, roof. Very neat. I don't know. I this is this is probably metal, but I know some cars have full glass that go all the way back. I think that's a very cool feature that they're doing on a lot of uh, modern cars today. Looks like the one that I got here. Looks like the hood's kind of scuffed up a little bit, uh, but that's okay, man. We have a ton. We have a ton of these cars. I I can't um I can't control every little defect that we got on all these cars. So anyone, next one that we have here is the 1955 Ford panel delivery. A little artwork for you guys. And Cakes has left the video. He said, no more treats, then uh, we're out of here. So anyway, let's check out this Ford panel, the delivery. Now, there's no moving parts on this one, I don't believe. It almost looks like they uh, <clears throat> it almost looks like they set the top onto the frame. You see that there, guys? Looks like there's a separation between this piece and this piece. I don't know if this is plastic. Might be these this might be plastic. This might be the uh, inner 
layer that has the seats and everything on it and then they put the metal top on it with the plastic base i could be wrong but that's kind of what it looks like it looks like the interior is part of the wheel wells and they sandwich it in there together very nice model though it almost looks like it has a opening hood doesn't it but that could just be like i said where they yeah it doesn't that's just where they sandwiched it together because you can see the line see the line there guys where it goes around that's just where they put the metal top on top of the plastic uh wheel wells still very cool model what does it say here on the side uh the endless summer in search of the perfect what in search of man i can't see that not even with my camera search of the perfect wave i believe is what it says very neat very cool model all right let's set this back here uh with the with the z all right next car that we are going to look at here let's look at the let's look at the other truck man let's look at the lexus very cool little artwork there for you guys nothing on the back they're all all the same just the licensing that's that's the word i was trying to uh figure out my mind actually went blank i just got up man you guys give me a break my brain's still not fully working yet all right that ridiculous you can see how ridiculous the box is man this box is huge compared to the car and this is the lexus is one of the bigger cars man you know what just uh lower the price a little bit and 50 cents and stop giving us these boxes that nobody use man these things just make these things just make a gigantic package. Does anybody? I could be wrong. I don't know. Does anybody use these boxes or like these boxes or need these boxes for anything? I guess they kind of make it look cool in the pack, but uh, they're kind of useless to me, guys. Let me know in the comments, man, uh, if you like the the boxes that come with the Matchbox. I understand that's why they call it uh, Matchbox, but does anybody actually really use them? Let me know. All right, so here we go. We got the Lexus. It did this one? Yeah, this one did. Ha does have a, a opening part? It is the trunk. Cakes, are you? Cakes, are you back, sir? Well, you're the one that left, sir. Nobody made you go. You wanna come back up here on the table? Kiki, come back up here on the table and join the video. So anyway, I can't get the hatch on the Lexus here to open up very far, and I don't want to don't want to break it but that feels like that's it so not a whole lot of range on the the lexus like i want to push the wheel in like it has suspension like on the um oh man see my mind went blank again like on the like on the majorette cars but it doesn't it's kind of re these matchbox collectors kind of remind me of the detail and the quality of the uh the majorette cars very cool let's look on the bottom of the lexus here that's cool how you can see the the tranny and stuff going back little cage underneath holding all the tranny and parts of suspension cool detail good detail on this very cool and i absolutely loving this uh this dark kind of like uh forest green very neat tampos for you guys all right moon ride long okay are you staring at yourself in the mirror sir is that is that the evil face because i don't give you no more treat you're not getting any more sir you're a fiend oh so you're gonna set your butt right in the middle of the table so dad can't do the video if i don't give you no more treats is that the plan bo peeps yeah that's what i thought was the plan well, look i'm gonna just move i'm just gonna move over one sir how about that <laughs> I think he just said bad words on the camera there, guys. Okay, I'm going to give you one more treat. You hear me? Back up a little bit so we so we can see the cars. All right, guys. Last ones we got are three very cool ones. We got this uh, 1994 Mitsubishi 3000 GT artwork for you guys. All right, let's get into it. All right, let's see some of the details on this uh, 3000 GT. Very cool car uh, from the past. These aren't very old, but they're uh, getting up there. But they are definitely very cool models. Now, first off, 
I don't see any moving parts on this. Now you can see, looks like uh, Japanese writing there on the license plate. It says Mitsubishi 3000 GT. Nice uh, tail light tampos. Got full glass extended down from the windshield for the headlights, side marker lights, Mitsubishi logo. Nice, nice uh, wheels and tires. I, I love the Matchbox 5 spoke like that, especially uh, when they're in chrome. I believe these are in like a silver, but uh, still very cool style these five spoke wheels pretty much look good on almost uh on almost every car you guys tell me if you like these five spoke wheels they're one of my favorite all right put that guy there next one that we got here is the 2018 bugatti devo very cool car loving the artwork on that cake's gonna lay down for a minute and be good well, I think he's being good. Maybe he's looking for treats that rolled underneath that hauler. <laughs> Cakes, which one is it? Are you being good or are you looking for treats that rolled under the hauler? Hey! What is it, Fluffy? <laughs> well, anyway, at least he's being good. All right, guys, let's see. It's good to have Cakes here with us in the video, hanging out with us, guys. Um... I think he adds a little bit to the video, although sometimes he uh, makes it a little bit hard to do the videos, man. I definitely enjoy having him here with us. Let me know in the comments if you enjoy Cakey Snakey's being here with us in the videos. Or if you just prefer to see the cars. Which one is it? Cakey Snakey? Or the cars? Or do you guys like both? Let me know down in the comments. Alright, let's open up this, um, let's open up this Bugatti. I woke up in a Bugatti. All right. All right, get him out of this pack here. And let's see, I was trying to aim the camera to include cakes, but he's way too, he's way too high up there, guys. All right, anyway, first thing I noticed on this Bugatti is it's like this flat blue that looks amazing, man. This is such a killer car. Look at the, <laughs> all right, let's scoot down, move my chair. Look at that um, set of gold rims, very neat stuff. Very, uh, man, that flat blue makes this uh, Matchbox collector car look absolutely amazing, man. Trying to get this super uh, ultra up close uh, view for you guys. That's one good thing about my camera. Sometimes it has trouble focusing, but it does allow me to get uh, pretty dang close to these cars so that you can see the details, man. Let me know if you like those uh, ultra close uh, up front and personal views of these cars, man. I try to really get in here and let you guys see the details. And this is an absolutely amazing car. We're going to give it over here to Cakes. Let Cakes play with that. And we are going to open up the last one of the day. We got the R Audi R8. Boom. This is the one that was different. It's kind of like a bonus car. It's not really a matchbox collector's. It's called the uh, Globe Travelers. Is there anything on the back? No, nothing. Nothing. No, doesn't show any other cars on the set or whatever. But a uh, very cool Audi. One of my favorites. That's why I saved it to last. And uh, let's open it up and check it out, guys. If you made it this far in the video, man. Like always, I appreciate it. Cakes appreciates it. We're glad you guys came and uh, hung out with us for a little while. And we definitely uh, do hope that you enjoyed this video. Look at that green on there, man. It's like a like an emerald green, like a flat emerald green. Now, this car is kind of old, kind of smudged on the windshield there. I picked this up on Amazon from a seller or something. It, it wasn't very expensive. I think I only maybe paid $10 for it. Maybe that's why, because it, it does have a little bit of scratches and damage on it. But look how amazing this uh, Audi R8 is. Look at that green. Now, I don't think it's a metallic. I don't think it's a, like a flake, but it does look kind of like it has a little bit of a metallic uh, shine to it. Look at the motor in there, guys. Back of the car. Very cool stuff. Very neat model. Let's check out the bottom there. Nice rubber tires. Cool white rims that match love the silver here on the side excellent model you let me know if uh, you guys like this one man all right let's line these cars up i'm gonna give you guys see if i can get around the back side of cake here 
grab the rest of our cars and I'm gonna give you guys one more view before we wrap up this video let's see what we have here what am I missing oh we got the Z and we got the 3000 GT all right family hope you enjoyed this video this is Brian here with the die castle one last little look a little up close view Boop. <laughs> Before we go, that Toyota looking uh, amazing in that green panel. We've got the 3000 over here. We've got the Nissan. Very cool set of uh, Matchbox collectors, guys. Let me know if you like this set. Yo, but this is Brian with the Die Castle bringing you peace, love, and prosperity. Yo, fam. We out.